Hey everyone! In the tutorial today, I would like to go through some more complex ways to use Power Query to configure your ingestion jobs, the data connections. A lot of feedback that we receive about the use of Microsoft Sustainability Manager shows that people are not familiar with Power Query and are therefore not able to use it to its full potential. A lot of the scenarios that they come with are actually possible in the tool today uh, and just lack the knowledge about how to configure this. Let's start with a basic overview of the source data that we are going to ingest. So a lot of customers come with a large utility bill um, or some sort of a table or database containing data about their utilities. Here in this example, I'm just using a large Excel file, and you can see it's not really very large, but should serve the purpose for the demo. So let's quickly review what is in the file. As you can see, we have two types of data. We have purchased electricity data uh, for the months of September, and then we have natural gas data for the same month. Then we also have one additional row for purchased electricity for the month of October. So going through the columns, we can see that the quantity unit has multiple different casings for how we define kilowatt hours. Microsoft Sustainability Manager is case sensitive, so it doesn't understand that kilowatt hours defined here and here are actually the same unit as of today. Also the contractual instrument types, you can see have spaces before and after the word in some of the uh, rows. Org unit is not matching up with the org unit in Microsoft Sustainability Manager. The mapping of the org units to what is in Sustainability Manager exists in a separate table. Uh, and again, for the purpose of this example, I just put it into the same Excel file on a different page. You can see we have the existing ones from the main utility file and then the ones that are defined in MSM. Facilities exist as well uh, in, in MSM. So my goal when I set up a new data connection is to configure ingestion of purchased electricity data for the past month. And I will configure it to be run monthly so that each month as new data arrives in the source system, it will get automatically ingested into Microsoft Sustainability Manager. I want to only import purchased electricity data for US-based facilities. So Contoso Pod Factory, which is in a different country, should not be imported. All right, let's get on it. Let's go ahead and create a new connection. We will be ingesting purchased electricity. So that is what I'm going to select in my data type. We'll be ingesting from Excel. And let's now select the file that I was demonstrating before. It is stored in my OneDrive. Utilities ingestion sample. There we go. Looking at the preview, you can see I have multiple tables defined in here. I'm interested in utilities and my org units. So I'm going to select those. Note that the way that Excel connector does it, the column names are not actually propagated properly. If I selected the table, they would be. But just to demonstrate, I'll select these because they have the nicer names. Let's now go and transform the data. And before I forget, let's just go to the org units and use the first row as headers. Fixing up that table, promoting the first row to be headers. Just a very easy operation. Okay, going back to our utilities, let's first off just fix up the invalid data. Let's right click on the quantity unit column and say replace values. 
This is just one of the ways. Obviously, there is many different ways that we could have done it. And what I'm going to replace is the capital KWH with the correct spelling from the MSM standpoint. OK, now let's right click on the contractual instrument type and transform column text transforms and trim. So this will trim both the leading and the trailing spaces in that column. OK, with that out of the way, let's now get the organization units that will actually work for sustainability manager. To do that, we are going to merge our utilities query with the org units query. We'll select merge queries and the right table for merge will be the org units. The left table will select the org unit column. In the right table, we'll select the corresponding column that has the same names. The join kind will be left outer join. You can see the selection matches 14 out of 14 rows from the first table. So we have a full match. The default selection for the join kind um, will work for most people. And if you want to use some of the other ones, you'll need to read up a bit on table relations and join types uh, if you want to select one of the other ones. But for now, let's just click OK. We can see that a new column was created, but it contains the entire table from org units. So we want to expand that by clicking on this little icon. And we only want to select the organization unit column because that's the one that we are interested in. OK, with that expanded, we can see that we now have the MSM specific names for the organization unit. So what we can do now is go and delete this column because we don't really need it anymore. So let's say remove column. Note that obviously this data still stays here because the applied steps are done in order. Voila, we now have the organization unit column that matches the names defined in MSM. Note that the org units could have really come from anywhere, from any other source of data. I loaded it from the same Excel file, but it could literally be anything else. So to demonstrate that better and to solve the challenge of only ingesting data for US-based facilities, let's get facilities data from our own Dataverse environment. I'll get data from, and I'll use the search to find Dataverse. I'll then paste in the name of my environment. And you can see it automatically recognized that I'm already connected there. It now connected to the Dataverse environment. And you can see it's listing all the 314 tables that are available in that environment. Obviously, I'm interested in facilities. So I'm typing for C. And I can view MSDIN facility and get a preview of the data. You can see these are all the columns from the facility table in Dataverse. Let's add it as an additional query. And you can see that the query name is msdin underscore facility, which is you know not as friendly. So let's rename it to facilities so that it's easier to read. We can also now go and find the two columns that we are interested in. So we have the country, and then we have the name. Let's go and rename this column to be called facility country. This is cosmetic, but just to demonstrate that this is in fact possible to tweak the query after you've ingested it from some somewhere. OK, we can now go and merge the two queries again, just like we did with the org units. But 
in the tutorial instead what we'll do is build a VLOOKUP like one would do in Excel. It's a little bit more cumbersome in here, but the principle is pretty much the same. So in order to do that, we will go and add a new column on the utilities query. So add column, custom column. So we're going to name it facility country. And here we need to enter the formula. So first of all, let's start with getting the position of the corresponding facility name in the facilities table. We are working with lists, so we are only going to look at one column. So it will be the list of all the facility names. And we are going to use our utilities column facility. Okay, so when we click OK, we can see that there is a warning that the data is actually coming from different sources and we need to confirm that this is in fact okay for that data to be processed. And looking at the facility country, we can see that now we return the integers and these are the positions, the row numbers in the facilities table for our facility names. So Contoso HQ, for example, is number 12. If we go and you know, check that. We will kind of find that um, Contoso HQ is in fact number 12 and so forth. But that's not good enough, right? We need the actual names. So let's click that gear icon here on the last column so that we can edit the definition. Now that we have the position of the facility that we want, let's actually get the right column of what we want. The column that we want is called facility country, as that's what we renamed it to. And then here I'm just using the squiggly brackets because this allows me to select, so select the right country, facility country value only, right? So facility country is a list, and then this selects the element in that list. Like if you spend a little bit of time just kind of getting familiar with the syntax and again like there is all sorts of different uh, queries that you can write here so you can learn more about them on the web this is just one specific example and a very simple one i'm not doing any error checking i'm not writing any conditionals just a very simple formula working with the list of two columns from the other table the other query all right so if I've typed everything incorrectly, we should now have a column that has the different countries listed Could that correspond to our facilities. Pretty simple. Now let's filter this out so that we only see data for USA. And this filter that we've now applied will persist for any subsequent monthly imports automatically as well. Let's also now filter to only have the electricity. We'll use the energy type column for that. As we know, it won't be populated for natural gas in our source system. Obviously, this could be different for your specific data. Let's also now apply a filter on the consumption start date. So what we want is a date filter. And we want it to say that it should be in the previous one months. OK, so this should now filter to only show the four rows. The fifth row, which was in October, disappeared. Uh, but when the time comes, and this ingestion runs again, it will be picked up automatically while these ones will not anymore. Okay, so this should do the job for us. We basically have 
only the purchased electricity data and only for facilities that are in the US. Let's now also make sure that only the utilities data is going to be exported. So uncheck the enable load for the other two queries. So we are, we're able to use them for our operations, but it's only the utilities that will actually go out. We can also remove some of the columns that we are not going to need, like fuel type, because that was specific to only the uh, natural gas data. I've already pre-mapped all of the columns beforehand, just so that it's simpler and it's not really part of this example. But obviously, you can still do that here and uh, map any of the additional columns that you need. You can see that um, facility country and energy type aren't actually going to go and be populated in Dataverse. Everything else is pre-mapped. Now we are ready to actually go and load the data. Because I want to import this automatically every month, I'm going to set it up with a frequency of one month, starting from, let's say today, and then um, doing it every month for the previous months. Click Next and call this just Electricity USA Previous Month. And click Connect. This will now create the connection and will kick off the first ingestion for the month of September. Okay, the connection is created and we'll start processing now. We can track the progress in our sheet. I prefer the card view. So you can see it's still scheduled, uh, but Power Query will pick it up shortly and then we will start seeing some progress. Okay, it's now started processing. And while we wait for it to process, I just wanted to mention that there is a new feature that is available with the latest release of Sustainability Manager, which allows to cancel a running ingestion in case, for example, uh, you set up an ingestion for a very large uh, source table and forgot to you know, configure it in a proper way. Now that the ingestion is complete, you can see we inserted four records and we can go and take a closer look to see if there is any warnings or errors. No, everything is clean. We did insert four records. Let's go and look at them. If we go to activity data, purchased electricity, and filter to our connection. Here are the four records, HQ, Warehouse, Facility, Atlantic Yard. So all the four uh, US-based facilities with the right consumption start and end times, with the right units, the right quantity. If we look at facilities, they're correct. If we look at org units, they are correct and existing. Energy type is indeed electricity, transaction date. Everything is good. Great. This is just a glimpse of some of the capabilities that Power Query has in terms of transforming the data and pulling data from multiple different sources and combining it together to produce the right output for your specific scenario. Obviously, I will not be able to cover all of it in this small tutorial, but hopefully that gets you going to explore and fine tune your specific ingestions. If you have questions or need further clarification on how to work your specific scenario in, do reach out. Thanks.